from your wiser advisor, I don't need anger management, I need people to stop making me mad. Uh huh, that'll be number one. Number two, my people skills are just fine. It's my tolerance to idiots that needs work. <laughs> just sharing. WorkingCanadians.ca. Pretty interesting website. Y'all gotta go have a look at it. Triple W, WorkingCanadians.ca. It's all about patronism and get rid of all that influence that unions and so many left wing activists have. And WorkingCanadians.ca is working working well towards that happening. So again, I watched your site earlier today and I enjoyed it a lot. In Quebec, former Quebec Lieutenant Governor Liz, Lisa maybe Thibault, I destroy everybody's name. She burst into tears in court and she says, oh no, I'm getting a four year prison sentence for fraud and breach of trust. And you know, she went on and on. She says this, I can't imagine my grandchildren will have a memory of their grandmother being treated like a thief. Why not, lady? You are a thief. Maybe you should be treated like a thief. You stole hundreds and hundreds of thousands of dollars. You're in a position to trust. You're a separatist, too, I'm told. And, of course, you worked for the Queen, so even that's fraud as a standalone. And you had more than $700,000 in alleged improper expenses. And there's a long list here. And then her husband got up and said, you know what, if a man had done this, he would have been treated very differently. I hope so. I, I hope that he would have been hung from the neck and still dead. This whole thing is crazy. A thief is a thief is a thief. Is there any part of that you all don't understand? All right, Peter McKay. Just before he retired, he had a meeting with uh, his political mentor, Brian Mulroney. And Brian Mulroney, of course, is a lawyer. And, and do you think maybe that Peter McKay, who is also a lawyer, is going to go work for his firm? Every former politician that's a lawyer goes to work with some big firm. And guess why? It's because they make a whole bunch of money. Why do they make money? It's because all the laws are put in place by previous governments. Let me tell you a short story about immigration. Believe this or not, it's true. Check it out. Anne McClellan, who at the time was the... Uh, assistant or vice prime minister or whatever it's called and back then she put a law in place and she said it from now on we get a commission as a lawyer so if a person comes in from another country to Canada and once they get their papers they all not only have to pay their legal fees and the lawyer of course receives those a lawyer gets upwards to fifty thousand dollars commission per person are you still sitting down or standing up or what are y'all doing I mean it's true 50 grand. So when you get a former politician with a high profile like a Mulroney who was prime minister and Anne McClellan and they all work at law firms, they bring in millions and millions of dollars legally, but it's improper per month. This has been going on now for probably seven or eight years. I mean, phone somebody, complain to somebody. It's an absolute fact. Nobody can dispute it. I've seen the papers. I've had the files in my hands. I've gone to people in power and I've said, this is improper. This is dishonest, but it's not illegal. And I said, well, of course not. It's like Jesse James passing a law that it's okay to rob banks because he's a bank robber. He made his job easier and that's what they've done. It's immoral. Again, they're breaking every bloody rule you could ever break. Get a man on that, will you? And you all come back here tomorrow. We're going to have more for you from the right. See ya.